Hello, today we're going to create a macro that saves to a OneDrive file with a date stamp. The same concept can be used for SharePoint, which is actually how I first did this was with SharePoint. So one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the developer tab and we're going to record a macro. The macro is going to be us saving this file. Save as my document in my OneDrive personal, which is essentially just a big SharePoint, right? So um, ah, you got to make sure and save it as a. Uh, macro macro enabled workbook which only makes sense since we are recording a macro in it as we speak so now that's saved stop recording go to visual basic go into the modules where this would have been recorded and there's your there is your snippet of code so now, how do we get this to be dynamic and give us a timestamp and name it whatever? So let's go to the, let's create a new one, save one, one drive. Give us a little space to work with here. Now we're gonna create some dims, dim uh, file name as a string we'll do uh, the same thing with uh, one drive as string so what that does is we can go and create and put these in here as a you know modify these and make them as text so if we do file name equals like I said, I'm going to try and do this. I, I do a file every day that it saves twice a day, at a.m. and a p.m. So I want a daily, for me, the way I was trying to solve my problem was to create a timestamp on a file and save it to a share drive. And then when COVID-19 hit, we everybody went home. A lot of people couldn't access the share drive, so I had to switch to a SharePoint drive and save it twice. That's and I wanted a macro that would do that to just save me time and make it where I didn't have I wouldn't have to worry about fat finger and dates and things like that. So the first thing is you want to do format. You want to go now. So whatever time it is now when I'm running this, and you want to set the format here. So I want month, month, day, day, and then a four-digit year. Then AM, PM, looky there, that'll set your date, time. that'll set your time. It'll say whatever time it is right now, and it'll do it in that format. So then the next is to connect it up with some whatever bit of code so you know what, what file this is. So you put a space so that it doesn't run right into the back of the AM or the PM. You say, you know, save file whatever um x l s m m oh and i forgot my close so that gives you the file name now to get the onedrive set well you've already got this right you got You've got it right up here. I'm making all kinds of mistakes today. So you go right up here, grab your data. Paste it in. But make sure you get rid of this, whatever you saved it, whenever you were. Uh... There you go. So now you've got one drive set and you've got your 
file name set. So now we do a message box just to make sure. So you do one drive and file name. And so now we run the thing. We did this uh, earlier to me today. Uh, picking up where we left off, I think I figured out what the problem is. I put my end quotes in the wrong spot. So do that. Let's hit play. That's the way we want it to look. This is why you do the message box to try and figure it out. So it took me a second to figure out what, what I did wrong. So there you are. Now with the you wanted to run and save this file. So you just go up here and grab that bit of code and now you want it to go one drive and file name now when you run that code again it should save we can go out here and check in just a moment to make sure that it does so let's run the code and it's uploading. You saw that it went somewhere. So now let's see if it went to the right spot. So this is my um, my OneDrive and it looks like it just showed up. There you are. So now I run this again tomorrow morning. It comes in and it'll come in with four or five am saved so hopefully this was helpful i uh, hope everyone enjoys enjoyed the video or as best i could and didn't laugh too hard at all my mistypings and things like that so y'all have a good day bye